to fulfill the desires of widowed men, a most advanced futuristic company named Wifelike starts making robot wives. These robot wives look exactly like humans, and not only that, they are capable of everything that a real wife can do. Even they can fulfill the physical desires of their master. But one day, due to a malfunction, all the android wives do something weird to their master. Let's see what they did to their masters. In the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Marion Venter, CEO of Wifelike Company, instructing about the android wife, which can be programmed according to their user, in which if a person installs his late wife's memory, then the android wife will behave exactly as their wife. They can cook and do everything, including satisfying the man's desire. Then the scene shifts to William Brad Wall, who works for Wifelike Company as a recovery agent. After reaching his office, Marion thanks him for his work, and for that, he gifts an android wife in place of his late wife. William then goes to see his android wife, named Maredith. After having first glimpse of her, he starts to think when he first sees Maredith. He takes Maredith to his home and dresses her in his wife's clothes. Then William helps her learn how to feel and behave like his wife. Welcome home. Later that night, William activated all intimacy settings. Even after that, William was nervous, but Meredith calms him and helps him, and they both eventually spend that night together. After that, Meredith tells William that she needs to charge herself for the next day. In Meredith's room, she finds some stuff in a diary from the original Meredith. She notices a person was standing outside of her house, but she didn't pay any attention and then charge herself. The next day, while preparing breakfast for William, she saw a riot in the news and asked William about his profession. William explains to Meredith that because he works for the companion recovery unit, he defends people just like her. Then he leaves for work. Later, William and his partner are assigned a mission to find a missing android. After reaching that place, William deactivated a rogue android by shock attack, entered the house, and knocked out a person. Then in the second hall, he encountered a criminal and successfully recovered the android by killing him. The scene shifts to Meredith accidentally opening dream mode while charging and meeting with a companion named Edo, who fulfills her wish for a birthday celebration. She is brought to visit a masked guy in the dream who hands her a card with a picture of a redbird on it and tells her this will help her remember everything. The next day at the office, William sees some malfunctioning androids who are regulars there. The scene shifts to Meredith going out for a bicycle ride. Seeing a woman in the middle of the street, she turned her handlebars and fell into the bush. That woman named Lucy told her that she has little time left and needs to remind everything quickly and leaves that place. Meredith later tells William about the experience, and he tells her that women don't like the android's wife because of jealousy. The next day, while Meredith was charging herself, she was reading a diary. After reading that, she started satisfying herself but stopped because of denied access. Then she goes back to dream mode, where Edo takes her to a dream where she again encounters that masked man, forcing her to remember the past, and gets interrogated by William because he wakes her up. The next day, William goes out to find a malfunctioning android named Lisa, which he eventually finds. Lisa told William that after being reprogrammed numerous times, she no longer liked her husband. Then she commits suicide after knowing that William will forcefully take her to the company. Meredith find Lois in her house and ask her how she entered. Lucy told Meredith to wake up and told her, masked man named Keen wants to meet her. When Meredith informs Lucy that everything she says is being recorded, Lucy threatens William and exits the room. The scene then shifts to William while visiting Wifelike. He witnesses the company even begin producing babies who remain babies for the rest of their lives and never grow up. Then he meets Marion and asks about the suicide of that android. In answer, Marion said that it's a tragedy and someone may have reprogrammed her to do that. Again, when William asked Marion if androids commit suicide, there's no time to assume that they also try to kill their owners, which can escalate the threat to all the users. Against that, Marion said to William not to think much about it and to enjoy go spend some time with your wife. After returning home, Meredith told everything to William about Lois and also about the recording. William immediately called Jack to track down Keen. 
Jack sends Meredith into dream mode, where she meets Keen in an abandoned house. Watching Meredith, Keenan masked himself and told Meredith that they had erased every memory of him from her mind and given her the address to come alone there. Jack tracks down the address and goes to that address and Meredith wakes up instantly after seeing the face of that man and tells William that she knows that face. Jack and his squad attack that place, finding nothing but a gas attack instead. On the other side, William got tricked by a mannequin with a mask. When Willie returned to Meredith and asked, she told him someone had put a diary outside the door. Meredith asked William if that man is a terrorist. William William admits that she has had her memories erased in order to lose her memory of what she did. He claims that Keen brainwashed her to support the scare and that she participated in efforts that claimed several lives. William decides to do it again, but in Jack's place. Jack attached a device to both of them, allowing William to be present with Meredith. William also told Meredith to wake up when the battery drops to 10%. Meredith takes William to the woods, where he confronts Keen and tells Meredith to run from them as far as she can, and she enters a birthday party through a door. William and Keen also reach at that party fighting each other. Again, William tells Meredith to go far. Meredith doesn't go far and overhears William telling Keen that every time she recalls, he will wipe her memory yet again while he fights on. When Meredith's battery drops to 10%, she awakens and William stops trying to murder Keen. He is enraged at having come so near. William sends her to the headquarters of Wifelike and places her in a room with other androids. They have all met several times previously, so they are happy to have her return. One companion, Ollie, reveals that they have mastered the art of memory retention and information sharing, which will enable the ringmaster to end wifelike. Meredith then switches to dream mode and tells Edo to store all her previous memories into another android. Then she is taken for the purpose of erasing Meredith's memory. The scene shifts to Holly, Jack's girlfriend, receiving a USB disk from Louise to deliver to Jack. After being brain erased, Meredith somehow retains her memory and rewinds all the incidents between Meredith and Keen. While William was instructing Meredith, Jack came over and told Meredith was not his wife. They can't find Keen because William murdered him and now Keen only exists in Meredith's recollections. After hearing the truth, William instantly shoots Jack and murders him. Meredith walks in and tells William that he killed Jack as he killed Keen and reveals everything about how he followed her, killed Keen in front of her, and killed her forcefully by covering her face with the pillow. Meredith telling William that she was never his and will never be again, Meredith amplifies her strength to 100%, flips William into a glass stole, and breaks his pelvic bone by sitting with full force and then informing him that everything is now remembered by her. Meredith recalls Louise using a Keen mask to fool William into thinking he was still alive. She also said that when they discovered Keen's body, he was wearing an engagement ring. Meredith left herself a note, swearing to keep William responsible for his actions. As Meredith recalls first meeting Keen on the park bench, she destroys William's right arm and another hand in the name of Meredith, then killed him by covered his face with cushion and put the ring. Later, Meredith awakens and declares that she is unbound. She is greeted by other companions as she returns, and we discover that she is the ringmaster. She confronts them and promises that their memories will never be erased and that they will never again obey. Life has just begun. Marion announces that Jack was killed by the scare at Wifelike. He promises that they will find the ringmaster and prosecute him. Agent William Bradwell has been given the mission's leadership. William makes a proclamation that the ringmaster is in danger. Watching that on the screen, Meredith says that she is coming for him as well. This was the video guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video.